and welcome back. In our last video, we discussed correlation, which allows us to make our virtual services dynamic. In this video, we're going to discuss the different strategy called data source correlation. This will allow a single virtual service to support a large number of regression tests. I will be showing you how to do this by creating a new virtual asset, adding a data source, creating a responder that uses that data source, and adding a catch-all inside of that data source. This is where data source co correlation comes into the picture. So if I go back to my responder, you'll notice that one of the tabs I have is data source correlation. So if I cl click on that, you'll see that we can specify what property or attribute to pull the incoming requests in order to do the lookup of my data source. To do that, we're gonna add a URL parameter name ID, and we are gonna make sure we map that to the, the column ID. Once we do that, we're gonna click OK. And again, we're gonna click Save. Everything's now configured in my responder. Just to confirm that we understand exactly what is happening, let's, let me talk through a scenario. Let's say that an ID request comes in with the URL parameter of ID2. What the responder will do is take that ID value, it knows the ID maps to ID in the data source, and it will do a lookup until it finds the matching ID2. Then it will know that the message response is bar, and it will take that and put it into the message element of the response. Now that everything is set up, let me open my, my browser and test it out. In my browser, we're going to invoke the virtual service. So to get to it, it's going to be uh, localhost port 9081 forward slash hello world DS with the URL parameter. So you can see ID uh, is returning foo. So let me do that here. And if we change this to two, We're going to get bar, and if we change this to three, we're going to get foobar. So it looks like everything is working, but just like in my last video, if we had a situation where the ID is, let's say, five, there was no responder that could handle that correlation. We have a very similar situation here. My data source only has one, two, or three. So if I put a five in, what's going to happen? Well, you can see like before, it's giving us an error. It's telling us that there is no value in the data source that can respond to five. Similar to before, we were going to fix this by creating a catch-all, except this time it will be with one of the rows in my data source. To do that, I'm going to go to virtualize again. I'm going to open up my data source. And in the final row here, we are going to add some syntax. It's going to be bracket with an asterisk in the center and a closing bracket telling virtualize no matter what the value is uh, to correlate on this row. And then we are going to get the message and we're going to call it catch all. Just as a side note, there's other syntax we can use, like the less than and greater than operators. These allow us to handle a bit more complex logic. And now we can go test it out in the browser again. So make sure it's saved. Let's open the browser, click refresh. And you can see here, it brings up the message catch all. This is how easy it is to set up data source parameterization and correlation. Next up, we'll be showing you how to set up your demo environment. See you soon.